Hello guys, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into exercise 5.2 question 17 from chapter 5 called arithmetic progression. So let's see what exactly is given in question number 17. Now moving on to question number 17, it is given that find the 20th term from the last term of the AP 3, 8, 13 to 53. Now let us see how we can solve this question solution. So guys, as per the question, we need to find out the 20th term of the given AP from the last. So to make it easy, let us first of all, okay, let us first of all write, out, write down the given AP. So the given AP is like 3, 8, 13, then 253. Okay, so in order to find the 20th term from the last, it would be easy if we just reverse the AP. Now let's see what I am doing here. Now let us see like we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So uh, let the first uh, term of the AP, we are making, we are going to make this 253 as our first term of the AP because we are just reversing it. And, and in between, like let's say we only have this one. So uh, like uh, 3, 8, 13. So from the last 13 is the uh, I will make it L third from the last third term which is nothing but 13 and from the last second term which is nothing but 8 and from the last first term is 3 and definitely the 20th term will fall in between this. Uh, 253 and uh, 13 because if you keep on counting from the last or if you keep on counting from the first the 20th term will fall here so uh, let us make this uh, 20th term uh, like let us uh, if i will write a 20th simply because we are going to find out this n and we are going to find out this value now guys here uh, we are going to use the formula like a n a is equal to or uh, let me make it like this. Now this one is a1 because this is our first term and this one is a20 which are we are going to find out and this one is a l3, this one is a l2 and this one is a l1. Okay. Now we are going to use the formula a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d. So guys, here we are going to find out first d. Once we get the d, then the, then the uh, equation will become very easy for us to calculate and to uh, work out on this. Now, just I am uh, making it as a tabular form so that it will be easy to see what exactly we have written and it will not confuse among the numbers. Okay. This is what we have now. Now we are going to find out the common difference. So here, because we are uh, we are reversing, we have already reversed it. So common difference will be d will be here, like any of the consecutive terms we can take. Either we can take l second minus l third or l first minus l second. So here let us take a l two, a l second minus a l three. So that is equal to eight minus thirteen that is equal to minus 5. So this is most important. So here we we got the common difference is 8 minus 13 which is nothing but minus 5. Now let us replace the things what we have in this uh, particular equation. So after replacing the things we are very we here a n is a 20. So I can write a 20 is equal to a 1 a 1 is 253. So 253 plus n minus 1 20 minus 1 into d or a 20 is equal to 253 plus 20 minus 1 is nothing but 19 and here here i can write uh, here i can write d as uh, minus 5 so just minus 5 the value of a 20 is equal to 253 uh, 19 into minus 5 5 9 45 I can say uh, 95 and that is equal to 158 therefore 
a, we can write a20 is equal to 158 this is what is required so at the end we can write therefore the value of the value of the 20th turn is 158 uh, that's uh, that's all guys so we uh, very well uh, know that we got the value of the uh, 20th term is 158 so at the end we can write the value of the 20th term is 158 if you uh, still i believe this question is really really very easy but if you still have any doubts or confusions can reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments if you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.